Hello, future grandmasters. Welcome to day 63. After taking in my victory, after things settling in, I've had a very, very important realization from my time in Germany. At, at one point of the tournament, I actually thought that I was the tournament was over. You know, before the, the second round, I had gone to the to the hospital. I had not slept the entire night, and I'd even agreed with my second that I had to jump out of the tournament. But then, after four hours of excruciating pain, I I laid back down into bed, and I believe at that moment it's just it's just there's some type of fate, and some type of it was just meant to be that I had to experience this this ear infection in both of my ears. I had to experience this pain to make my mind enter into the fourth and fifth dimension of focus and 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 determination. And while I was so I was just done with the tournament, I I I I just laid there and I just used all my willpower to make the pain go away. And I know you guys might be thinking I'm crazy, I'm this, I'm that. But you know, the pain went away. It was manageable and I went to play the game and I told myself like I'm sitting there you know, my ears are ringing, I'm tired, I'm sick, or whatever, and I'm just, I'm just sitting there, like, just focusing, just trying to, like, you know, really, really play. And, you know, I recognized that this was a really important tournament, of course, to qualify to the Classic. There was a lot of money as well, and FIDE Circuit as well, guys. Me winning this tournament, I think, gets me 20.5 FIDE Circuit points, you know, which brings me, you know, to the highest, you know, I could qualify to the candidates to the FIDE Circuit, guys. So, um, so I realized that, you know, Throughout the entire path that I've taken as a chess player, I've realized that, it's, that it's, 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 it's all fate. And everything in life you must accept as a lesson. And I understand that I might have a controversial reputation, but, it, but in Germany I really had so many people come up to me, so many young kids come up to me, and I didn't have a single negative interaction with, with anyone. And I realized that I might, you know, open my Twitch stream and see all these stupid little Hikaru chatters or all the accounts hating on me, but but I realized that I'd probably taken around 500 photos, all positive, all people who, who, who said they were inspired. I mean, not everyone, but you know, a lot of kids who play chess. And I realized that I have responsibility because all these other chess players are such losers. They just talk about, oh, you, you read a book, you study chess. Like, I think that, you know, chess is not just about reading books, about studying chess. Chess is, 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 is a game about, you know, willpower, a game about struggling, you know, a game about using your passion and all your, deepest, darkest, you know, experiences life to, to, to pour that energy, you know, into the game. And I realized that not only do I have a responsibility to myself to use the amazing talent that I have, but I also have the responsibility to show others that you don't have to be this little fucking, you know, humble nerd who pretends like they're this, you know, Mr. Mr. Perfect goody two shoes who has no ounce of emotion and who pretends like they just study chess for hours a day, you know, when in private they're praying that their opponents are crying when they lose, you know. So I realized that first of all, I need to continue documenting my journey because I've seen the effect that it has upon people. People telling me, I get people messaging me saying, you know, because of you, I'm motivated to play chess. Because of you, I got this rating. There's like a guy who literally messages me like every single day saying like, that you're my motivation to study this, that. So while there are many great content creators in chess, I don't think there's someone who, who's doing it with the purpose of inspiring people and to give a guide for others to sort of, you know, not just take control of their chess future, but take control of their lives. I think that this tournament is, is symbolic for so many reasons. It's symbolic of the fact that you must power through, but in order to fulfill your destiny, you have to understand what your destiny is. And you have to find that. And for me, I found that pursuing chess and giving my life to the game is 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 the only way to manifest my my talent and, and gift into in greatness. So it's been a lot of self-reflection and thinking, and, and and that's why I really really think this journey is very important. Despite the fact it's, it's a bit weird because um, all these big YouTube channels in all the different languages have these massive get all these views making videos about me. But, but I really think that this community is only going to grow. People are going to look back and wonder like why my channel gets so few views and all these people get all these views making videos about me, you know? So anyways, not to be bitter, but I really think that this journey has the potential to, to motivate chess players, but to also to motivate people and to show them that, you know, you guys have seen all the things that they've done to me, all the attacks, all the times they've tried to destroy my life, you know? 
you know, defaming me by accusing me, you know, this crazy chest.com report. Then they tried to get me banned and, you know, everywhere. All these different things are going to, to, to ruin my chess career. It should be a lesson to everyone that no matter what happens in your life, you, you can't make excuses and you have to take control of your own destiny. Me overcoming the, the chess mafia and overcoming all of these boundaries is going to be inspirational to not just chess players, but to people all over the world. And while there are many people who have this pressure on me or this idea of who I am because of the media propaganda that has been, you know, sort of perpetuated by uh, chess.com streamers and, and, and whatever stupid media, in reality, you know, uh, I, I'm just a chess player, um, but now I, I, I've been forced to take the role of this sort of, as they call it. But in reality, uh, I would just like to show the world and to stand up for all the, let's say, victims of bullies and, and to show that, you know, it doesn't matter what you're up against. It doesn't matter what they do to you. If you uh, um, work hard and, and you stay focused and you truly believe in yourself in an almost delusional way, then I truly believe that that is the greatest thing in life, you know, to pursue the impossible. Um, but in reality, me becoming world champion is not such an impossibility. You know, just two years ago, I received a wild card invitation to the Singfield Cup. Receiving a wild card invitation to the Singfield Cup must mean that two years ago, they thought I was pretty talented and deserving of that invitation. And with that invitation, I, I, did, I did pretty well and I made use of it. So despite the fact that my rating is basically the same as it was a year and a half or almost two years ago at the Singfield Cup, it might be the same rating. That does not decide this notion that I'm not talented or I don't have potential or I don't, is, is ridiculous, you know, because only two years ago I was being called this, you know, future talent, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, for those of you who might not have believed before my, my tournament with King Renke, I have to say that despite the rating plateaus that I've experienced, I can assure you that that's only uh, a result of the, you know, extreme blacklisting that I've had to experience and the lack of opportunities. However, I will persevere and I will overcome, but obviously it might take more time because for me, gaining rating isn't as easy because, you know, these open tournaments are a bit, this but we're variants, it's difficult. But I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you watch this entire thing, I guess, you know, you're very dedicated to becoming a future grandmaster. I'm going to try, I obviously use my Discord. I want to, you know, have a community of, of, of chess players, you know, where you guys can talk about how to improve and, and I can give some advice and I can sort of help you guys uh, with your chess or, or, or life. So um, make sure to join my Discord. I don't know, maybe I'll use another platform. It was great to meet so many of you. For one final parting thing, despite the fact that I'm blacklisted, if you look at Grand Kid Chess and you look at how many views my, my interview got and you look at how many views other people's interviews got, I brought way more attention. I brought, you know, to this to this tournament. Everywhere I play, every game I play, you know, 10 different YouTube channels and 10 different languages are covering it. I think that it should be a message to the organizers that not only am I a legitimate player, I'm an extremely talented player, and I have the ability to bring a ridiculous amount of attention and eyeballs and, and, and hype to your tournament. So hopefully organizers decide to change their mind and give me the opportunities that I rightfully deserve. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck to all the future Grandmasters.